the life of Princess Helena of the United Kingdom. One of the least remembered children of Queen Victoria, much of what we know about Helena comes from her mother's diaries. Helena was born on the 25th of May, 1846. Her birth caused much panic as she was born blue. Thankfully, she quickly recovered and was a mostly healthy child. As she grew up, Helena had to fight for attention amongst a brood of eight siblings. This strengthened her character and she even punched one of her brothers on the nose when they teased her. Helena grew up to be quite competitive and wanted to be the best at everything. She had many talents. She was an avid piano player, rode horses and could draw. She also learned how to cook, clean and farm. For the most part, her childhood was relatively happy and she spent much time with her parents compared to other royal children of the time. However, in 1861 her happy childhood would end when her father, Prince Albert, died. Her mother became so grief-stricken that she made her children's lives unbearable. The children living at home moved to Osborne House and had to keep their grieving mother company. Despite expecting support from her children, Queen Victoria gave very little support to her grieving children, who had just lost their father. Helena found this time especially lonely. She was more sensitive than her sisters and was quick to burst into tears at the slightest bit of drama. For this reason, her mother chose Helena's younger sister, Louise, as her assistant and her older sister, Alice, as her secretary. In 1862, Princess Alice married and Helena replaced her as her mother's secretary. She excelled at the role and became a good companion for her mother. With little affection and support from her family, Helena found support in Karl Ruland, her father's former private secretary. Helena came to love him and when her mother found out about the affair, Victoria fired Ruland, sparking furious rows between the mother and daughter. Victoria was keen to have her daughter married off to avoid any more scandals. Helena was not deemed conventionally beautiful and being the middle child in a large brood of children made her marriage prospects less secure. Her mother also had a condition for any marriage, that Helena had to stay in England near her mother, which made finding her a husband all the more difficult. Prince Christian of Schleswig-Holstein was chosen as Helena's husband. He was much older than her and came from poor connections. His family's duchies were being fought over by Prussia and Denmark. The possible marriage caused much division in the family with several members being against the match for various reasons. Despite this, Christian and Helena were extremely happy together. The Queen put her foot down and the wedding went ahead on the 5th of July, 1866. Helena and her husband had a quiet married life together. He was the perfect husband and they devoted themselves to each other. True to her word, Helena stayed close to her mother's residence but found her role as secretary increasingly difficult, especially when she became pregnant. She had six children, Christian Victor, Albert, Helena Victoria, Mary Louise, Harold, and a stillborn son. Unfortunately, her third son, Harold, died eight days after his birth, plunging the parents into immense grief. Helena conceived soon after and gave birth just under a year later to a stillborn son. Helena felt that the world was against her and the couple had no more children. The numerous pregnancies took their toll on the princess's health and she was often unwell, something her mother was unsympathetic about. Victoria believed that her daughter was just a hypochondriac, however this was far from the case. Helena suffered from rheumatism, joint pain and severe congestion of her lungs. Some of her lifestyle choices certainly didn't help this. She became addicted to opium to cope with her pain. Most of the time, Helena refused medical attention if she could help it. 
and she was possibly suffering from PTSD from the trauma of losing her father and two sons. Tragedy would strike her family again when her elder sister Alice died from diphtheria in 1878. Though different in many ways, Alice and Helena were there for each other when it counted, and the death of her sister hit Helena particularly hard. Receiving no support from her mother pushed Helena closer to her husband, and they built a life together, spending much time together. In 1887, Helena became the president of the British Nurses Associations and she used her influence to support the idea of creating a nurses registry to improve the education and status of nurses at the time. By this point, her opioid addiction was causing much concern in her family. Her mother, who was never concerned about her child's health, was very much worried about Helena. Christian became increasingly worried and begged the doctors to stop giving his wife the drugs. The doctors did so and when Helena found out she was furious, she was unable to get the drugs she needed and went into withdrawal, becoming extremely ill. Helena eventually overcame her addiction and this should have been celebrated but it was overshadowed when her eldest son Christian Victor died. Helena was proud of her children, especially her eldest, who was a major in the British Army. He was often in battle and far away from home. When he left for a trip in South Africa, he caught malaria and died in October 1900. Helena took the news as well as could be expected. On the 22nd of January 1901, Queen Victoria died. Helena and her youngest sister, Beatrice, comforted their mother on her deathbed and each other when she later died. With her death marked the change in the family's dynamics. One by one, Helena lost touch with her siblings, but the loss of her eldest brother, Edward VII, also known as Bertie in the family, hit her especially hard. Bertie and his wife, Alexandra, kept her at arm's length. Alexandra never forgave Helena for the betrayal of Helena marrying her husband Christian, whose territories were being fought over by Alexandra's homeland of Denmark. Alexandra got her revenge though. Helena was passionate about nursing, but Alexandra decided that she too was interested in the cause and demanded the position of president. Helena had to give up the position to Alexandra, who ranked higher than her in the order of precedence. Her brother would die in 1910, and four years later, Britain and Europe would be plunged into war. Helena's only surviving son fought for the Prussian army. She lost contact with him. None of Helena's children had gone on to have children in marriage, and only her daughter, Princess Mary Louise, married. Helena was upset at never becoming a grandmother, but little did she know that she actually had a granddaughter. Albert had fathered a daughter called Valerie Marie with a woman of high noble birth whose name is unknown. It is not clear whether Helena knew of Valerie Marie or not. Christian and Helena celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary in 1916. The first couple in the British royal family to celebrate this milestone, he would pass a year later. Their marriage, that had been so opposed, had stood the test of time. Six years later, in 1923, Helena fell ill, and on the 9th of June, 1923, she suffered a fatal heart attack and died. 